Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at 3D printing uh, prop guards for the SEMA X8, specifically the SEMA X8C, but it should fit most of the uh, X8 models. So, um, on Thingiverse, I found two various uh, files. So one up here, I believe, from like a Skylar, and then another one up here from, yes, One Big Pig is the handle he goes by, or she goes by. Um, so I, I printed out both of them to kind of see how they would work. And the one thing with the Skylar model, um, it, it had some issues in printing. It was It's a little bit more basic than the... Uh, one big pig model which is this one over here and I'll talk a little bit more about it uh, however it, I also came into a problem with it being manifold and for those not familiar with that term in 3d printing an object has to be watertight in other words all the axes of it have to be sealed so it can print because obviously it, it mathematically looks at the flow of plastic like water or liquid just to kind of simplify things so some of the things that happened is it didn't print out the holes here which you notice on the other version from One Big Pig, it has holes. And on the STL, which is the file type that 3D printers use for the most part, it shows these. So there's obviously a problem with this. It's also a little bit more basic in design. There's no fillets, fillets in, in these areas. It's just connected. Whereas if you notice the one from One Big Pig, you know, has rounded fillets in here, which give it strength. Uh, it's also... Uh, this one is not recessed where this one is recessed to slide in maybe you can see that here Between the two so this one I couldn't actually get to slide into the quadcopter to even say drill out the holes and put it in there So I went with the one from one big pig uh, did have some stringing as you see here But that's pretty easy to clean up with a tool like this Plastic cleanup tool what you do is just run it around the inside and it cleans up the excess plastic um, so these actually came out pretty good. So I printed out a bunch of them. I've installed one on the quadcopter so you can see uh, here what, what it looks like. So it slides on pretty easy. So uh, what I did is, uh, just to kind of show you, I have one here. So it just slides in, you put the screws in, and pretty simple, huh? Um, there is a little bit of a penalty that you will pay for these, and that is the weight of them. And so, if I take one of the original ones, of the scale reset here, and I put it on here, it's about 2 grams. Where if I take one of the new ones, and I put it on here, notice I haven't cleaned this one up, but it won't be much of a difference, it's about 5 grams. So these are about 3 grams heavier each than, than the stock version. Now, one of the things, if you look at the stock version, it's pretty much open on the back side. So it's very thin, very, very flimsy, where these are pretty much solid. Now, I printed these at about 20% infill, which means that about 20% of the inside of this is full. Otherwise, it's it's open. However, one of the things with these is the sh it's such a, a sh um, narrow uh, piece that the shell and the, the bottoms fill up most of it. So that's what kind of gives it a little bit of weight. I did do some experimentation. This one's at 30%. And if I weigh this one, it, it, it pretty much comes out five, you know, almost six. So there is a little bit by reducing the infill. I did save, I'm guessing, probably about a half a gram uh, in weight. These are far more resilient. I'm putting a lot of torque on this than, than these. The other thing to notice, though, these are tilted upwards where these are straight. So if I bring the quadcopter back into the picture... You know, one of the pieces is going to be, you know, it, it's going to prevent a lateral strike of the blade this way. But as it tips up, the blade's going to hit. Now, if I were to take this one and slide it in, let's have a little closer look at the difference. So now you can see that this actually protects the blade in more of a tip situation. But I tell you, uh, and as you can see from this one, most of the tip situations got the blade anyway. So, I, you know, I, I think this is probably almost as good as, as this. You could probably get fancier and try to bend this up heat-wise, or you could even create, if you want to get fancier, an STL model, but you would have to print with supports, probably print it from the downside like this, and uh, it just wouldn't be worthwhile in that kind of uh, shape. 
So I'm going to go ahead and test these out, and I'll keep you updated in a future episode of how they uh, work out for me. And uh, again, if you've got any questions about uh, you know any type of 3D printed object or um, accessory for it, like the SEMA X8 series or the X5, hey, hit me up in the comments below. I'd be happy to look at it, review it for you, tell tell you what I think, print them out, maybe even do an episode on it. Um, also, um, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. And if you found this interesting, hey, a like always helps. And when the subscribe button comes up over there in a minute or so, uh, please hit it and subscribe to the channel. That way you're kept updated. And hey, we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.